She's got two Pokemon, so we will be... Oh my god! Oh! Alright guys, welcome back to our third episode of our Pokemon White version Randomizer Sweatlock. Um, on the last episode we made it through Route 2, battled both in and our rival, um, and we made it to Striaton City. Uh, so here, there is a gym in the city, so we should be, um, we should be battling that gym maybe in this episode. Um, I think there's also the Dream Yard here, and we should be at least getting one more encounter. So. That should be pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and look through our team uh, one more time and see what we got going on to start. All right. So, first off, we have our Seismo Boat, who is leading the party right now. He is level 12. Uh, and he has Bubble Beam, Growl, Supersonic, and Round. All right. And then we have our Delilah, our Ambipom. Um who has Scratch, Tail Whip, Sand Attack, and Astonish, level 10. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and swap Delilah up to the front since size of my boat is now a little higher level. Um, I'm not exactly sure what level the gym leader is, so I don't know if we're already too over leveled or, or what for it, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, go exploring. Now this is the gym, let's see. Gym leader's not here. He's at the at the school. All right, um, it's this way. The dream the dream yard. Okay, dream yard must be over here. Yeah. All right. So I think we can get another encounter over here in the dream yard. So that's pretty excited. Let's see what we can get. Um, yeah. Let's see what we're gonna get over here. It's spring. Oh, there's a trainer here. Uh, let's battle. I guess we'll start. Let's start it up. Let's go. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Uh, if you are, please leave a like on the video. Uh, share it. Tell your friends about it. Anything you want to do will help out. Um, I'm having a ton of fun playing this. And uh, hopefully you guys are having a ton of fun watching it. Alright, what are we going to do? Uh, we've already discovered that Scratch with Technician is our strongest move. So we're going to go ahead... Jeez, that Venomoth is flying really fast. It's like really flapping those wings. All right. Hit him with the scratch. Boom. Ooh, that did like half its health. And we avoided the supersonic. So let's hit him again. Let's give this Venomoth the big time bops. And he's dead. All right. Does this person have another? All right. Level 11. Here we go. Let's get it started in here. Uh, baton pass? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, let's give up on baton pass. Maybe that's... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but oh well. Politoed. I think I'll keep battling. We'll see, though. Alright. Here's some thunder outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um... Hit him with the scratch, yes. Oh, double slap. That ain't gonna do anything. Yeah, yeah. And there goes the Politoed. Delilah throwing out them bangers. And that's another level up. All right. There's a tree for cutting, there's something for strength, there's a trainer, I wonder if that's also a trainer. Oh yeah, this person wants to outperform the gym leaders, so if I can do better than them, then I can beat the gym leaders, let's see. Hmm. Okay. It's a psychic type, I wonder if my super effective Astonish will do more than Scratch. Let's try it. 
Oh, that's a one-hit KO. That's what we like to see. Oh, and it was a crit. Not against it. Conkledur. Oh, that's a fighting type. Let me go out to my big boy boat here. Size my boat. Jeez. That's a big boy. That that is a big boy. Whew. Um I think we'll do the bubble beam. That might be stronger now since it's uh oh bide. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're good. We're good. I was worried about that for just a second. Cause uh Okay, good. He's still just just building this power. I was worried about that. If, if we couldn't two-hit KO, that would have been not very good. Not very good at all. It's a level up for the boat boy. Make sure everything's recording. <laughs> all right, Piplup. Um, I'm gonna switch again because Zalila is a little under level compared to this guy. Oh, not really. I didn't realize it got all the way up to 12 already. Oh well. We'll go ahead and get them both up to 13. And then I think we can get an encounter over here. Let's go with the scratch. And that's a one hit KO. Delilah doing it big out here. And that's a level up, so they're both even. Both level 13. That is pretty good. Alright. So I basically uh, I beat that guy he's trying to be better than the gym so let's talk about this person talk to this person real quick hey hey you what was the first Pokemon you received Ambipom then Hitmonchan can be a big help oh this person gives you a Pokemon um well this is a gift I think I'll do the gift as the encounter for this area um so I guess I'll get a Hitmonchan. That's really cool that they, they picked Hitmonchan as a fighting type and Ambipom as a normal type to to be its uh, ally maybe. I don't know. I wonder if it did that randomized because um, I, I think in the original game they give you Panseer and Pansage and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I wonder if they randomized it to where it's still type relevant like that. All right. Ambipom does not do well against fire type Pokemon. It does pretty well. But I will take this Hitmonchan, so that will count as our encounter. Um, so that's going to be a lap. And also, I've got a Hitmonchan, which is awesome. I love Hitmonchan, so that's really cool. Um, it can use water type moves. Not, not really. Nah, not really. But I will take the Hitmonchan. Should be able to give it a nickname. Yes. Okay. A nickname for a male Hitmonchan. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's call them. Let's call them gloves. I think we're gonna call them gloves. Yeah. Gloves. All right. If you have many types of something will work out no matter what kind of Pokemon you have to face. Awesome. Let's check out our gloves. Level 10 already too. Wow, that's that's actually a good place to give it to us. Nice. Thought it was gonna be like level seven like the other like the trainers that have been around here. He's got Iron Fist. Nice. Comet Punch, Agility, and Revenge. Okay. That inflicts double damage to the user been hurt. Comet Punch. It goes two to five times. And with, I think that stacks with the Iron Fist ability. So that could be a little bit of a nice boost on there. And then agility to up his speed. I'm not mad at it. This this guy's going to be awesome, actually. Um, let me actually put him up front. Oop. Let me put him up front. Let's start. Let's leave with gloves now. I think that'll be fun see what we can do oh, okay oh well, there's not even there's grass but you can't get to it okay so I, 
I couldn't have gotten an encounter right now here anyways. So that's fine because gloves can be our encounter. Let's see what we get here. Focus band. Oh, we can work on them stats. Hmm. Awesome. All right. Well, let's go back to town. Let's heal up and um, go explore some more. The dude said something about the school. Can you go in these now? Okay. Oh, you can. Testing something. Okay, so this is Fennel's house. Probably. Hmm. Sweet. Alright, that guy said he was at the school, so we have to find the school. We've got our three Pokemon now, so that's pretty sweet. All right, all right, all right. We haven't done much in this episode. Let's try to push forward and get this gym battle at least in this episode. Um, what's over here? What's this? What is this? I don't know what that is. I don't know if I need to not go over there. Let's just go in here first. Let's look for the school. Oh, look, there's Charon. Um... Okay, that's probably going to be a battle then. When the Pokemon is poisoned, it's when a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Hey Tim, have you come looking for the gym leader? I sure have. Thanks, Charon. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him. Oh wow. By the way, Tim, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. All right, let's do it, Charon. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Hmm. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Oh, you're going to take it easy on me? Sweet. In that case, I should be able to easily win, since you're taking it easy on me, Charon. I really like um, trainer designs and stuff in these games. Oh. oh. Toxic Croak. Hmm, I think, I think gloves can not die here. <laughs> Ooh, let's just go with it. Poison sting, don't poison, don't poison, don't poison. Comet punch, get bopped. Two hits, I only hit twice. Um, let's go with this again. He's gonna keep going with poison sting, so. Oh, and I'm poisoned. All right, I'm going to probably have to switch this guy out. I don't want to lose my new Pokemon at the same time I got him. Oh, and he's got a berry. Of course. Well, at least he goes ahead and eats it. Poison damage. Um, yeah, I'm going to swap out. Toss a croak. I'm going to go with Seisma Boat. I don't think he's got anything that can hit Seisma Boat, and my Seisma Boat is plus defense, so should be pretty cool. This poison Sting is so annoying, though. Let's hit him with the Bubble Beam. Got him. And he's done. That's how you do it right there. Easy peasy. Beautiful cover girl. Onyx. Uh, yep. We'll just keep Seisma Boat in. Seisma Boat can just Bubble Beam this Onyx. Is this our first time fighting Sharon since we battled him at our house at the beginning of the game? I think it is because we fought Bianca and N in the last episode. So yeah, this is our first time fighting him since he's been at our house. That Toxic Croak was a surprise. Oh, he's got Sturdy. I forgot about that. And he uses Hardened. Smart. Smart move, Onyx. Smart move, Sharon. Definitely. Alright. And we're level 14. Sweet. Losing you means that... Yeah. Doesn't matter. So learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, here, Tim. I'll give you these berries. Oh, he still gives me berries. Okay, I didn't know if that would be randomized or... What? 
If you have Pokemon this kind of a berry to hold, it will eat it up to heal when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give a Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. Thanks, Charon. I like that vote of confidence you've given me. Should be able to beat the gym leader. Is that the gym leader? Yeah, I think it is one of them. Alright, let's heal up and let's go ahead and take on this gym. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, this is going to be pretty awesome. We might, if depending on how long this takes, I don't know if we beat the gym and then leave the town immediately after that. But we might be able to get another encounter too. Alright. Oh, sorry. Uh, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what's your first Pokemon you chose? Snivy, I see. It's weak to Fire-type Pokemon. Yeah, I definitely didn't choose Snivy, so I'll be fighting a Fire-type trainer in here. But he will be not a Fire-type, most likely. So let's see what they've got going on. All right, this guy's just telling me the rules of the gym. Oh, he gives me some water. Nice. That's a healing item. That's nice. All right. So with this one, I believe you select the type that defeats the type to open the door. Yeah. It's either you choose the weakness or you choose the strength. Um. Here we go. Let's train up our uh, Hitmonchan a little bit more. Our gloves. It's gloves. Here we go. Send out gloves and let's go to town on this guy. Waiter Maxwell. Spinarak. Okay. More people trying to poison gloves. It's just cold hearted how the people out here are these days. Um, let's go with Comet Punch. Maybe Stab Revenge is better. Even though it doesn't get the Iron Fist boost. But it might still be better sure. But let's hit him with another comet punch because I know that should kill. I don't want to. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Okay, it does. It does. <laughs> Alright, I was I backtracked for just a second there. Can we get a level? There we go. Level 11. Pursuit. Ooh, I could use that. Could probably use that. I'm not against it. Alright, for water types, uh, instead of want the grass. Another trainer. She's got two Pokemon, so we will be... Oh my god! Oh! Okay. Um... All right, um, this guy is still dragon, I think. Let's hit him with, uh, gloves is kind of frail though. Let's just, uh, let's just hit him with revenge. If he's got something like dragon rage or something, I don't know, dragon breath. Okay. Oh boy. All right, with revenge. That freaking stressed me out. Okay. All right, all right. We got some EXP off of that. We got <laughs> we got some EXP for gloves over here. Yeah, that that honestly stressed me out. Wiggly tough. No, I, I keep battling in this situation. Um. Yeah, this is just a normal type. Here. And let's hit him with the revenge. Defense curl. Smart. You didn't hit me, so I don't get a revenge boost. And you increase your defense. Let's see what I can do. Okay, yeah. Ooh. Let's see if I'm in love. Oh man gonna try to put me asleep. Uh, defense curl. All right. 
So just defense curl and sing so far. Mobilized by love. I should still be able to knock it out with a uh, revenge, though. I think even if uh, even with that many. Jeez, when am I gonna break out of this love? Maybe it'll wake me out of it right here. Three slaps. Four slaps. Oh. That. There we go. And I get the revenge, boosted revenge from the attack. And it's a crit. Done for. Alright, let's get that sweet experience. Not enough to level up. Waitress Tia, get out of here. Get out of here with that freaking Dialga. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna go heal. Not a chance. Not a chance. I'm gonna go heal. That was ridiculous. Oh man. I think that's all the trainers in there. We should be able to battle the gym leader next. So this will be pretty awesome. This is our first gym battle. Um, I'm going to have to do a gym challenge, weigh in, all that kind of stuff after this. So this is pretty awesome. Let's see. Yep, let's go. Let's do it. Let me make sure my... I did just seal, right? I didn't forget. Okay. I think we'll leave gloves out front. So far, gloves has been able to hold us down in this gym. Here we go. Welcome to Striaton City Gym. Ooh, I'm chilly. I light things up with the fire type. I don't know what kind of voices to do for these guys. They, they don't really need a voice. These guys are lame. I'm the water type specialist and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And I'm chilling. I like grass type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here is, well, er, oh enough, listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based off the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case, and the partner you chose was Snivy. Wrong. So he's gonna go with the fire type. I've got Seismo Boat. I should've thought about that. I could've led with him. Oh. I still could have. Why did I do that? Alright. <laughs> it's fine. I have still got gloves. Oh yeah, their type's probably not going to be fire anyway, so that doesn't matter. Because it's randomized. Gotta smooch them. Is the... Is this form ice and psychic? Or is it just ice or just psychic? Don't know. I will pursue it. It's probably slower than me. Yep, it's still the psychic typing. Alright. I always forget about Smoochum. Level 14. Let's see. Teddy Ursa. Um, let's keep battling with gloves. This gem was pretty easy. It's not over yet. One more left. Alright. This gem was easier than I expected. And he got a crit. Oh, hold up. Oh, I thought I spoke too soon right there. Whew. All right. And that'll take him out, guys. We did it. We have defeated the first gym in our journey through uh, this region, through Pokemon White. So, wow. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what is he going to give us. All right, he gives us his badge. Oh yeah, our badge case has one badge in it. Seven more to go. Seven more to go, we're moving. Yep. Ooh, Hydro Pump. I can teach that to size my boat. Oh yes. 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 All right. All right, so I just defeated my first gym, and now it's time to do our first gym challenge. Um, so for this gym challenge, we defeated the fire-type gym leader, Chili, 
And so I wanted to theme this gym challenge around heat or fire. Um, now I had something planned for an outdoor uh, challenge, but as of the time of filming this episode, there is actually a tropical storm outside, uh, Tropical Storm Gordon. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that challenge. Instead, I've decided to do something that I can safely do indoors. Um, and that is I'm gonna do a little bit of a more intense setup workout where I have to eat hot peppers uh, with each sit-up. Uh, and I'm gonna do a couple of those and that's gonna be our heat-based fire gym challenge. So hope you guys are ready. Let's get started. That was my first gym challenge. That was a fire, fire gym. So now my intensity on my workouts will increase. I'll be increasing the amount of push-ups and setups per trainer. Um, I'll have the number pop up on the screen. I'm not exactly sure what it'll be yet. Um, and I'm gonna increase my laps to uh, like an extra whole lap per um, encounter probably. So or per video, I'm not sure, I'll, I'll have it pop up. But anyways guys, that was my first gym challenge. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, on to the next one. Let's see how much time we got on this episode. We might can go ahead and go to the next area. Let's see what this person's talking about. Hi there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. No, hey, hold up, um, I haven't healed yet. Um, don't battle me, please. We're going to meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region, right? Am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs, come, come upstairs. Okay, I'm going into a girl's room. Spicy. Uh, so like I said, I'm Fennel, and you can see I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. Hey, I'm just a young kid. You don't need to bring me up to your room. That's uh, unsafe. An HM, cut. So now I can use cut. Um, yeah, there's that tree at the dream yard. HM, yeah. We already know about HMs. We'll try to go through that. All right, I like some of the dream mist that the Pokemon Muna there called Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync to collect save files of various trainers. Cool. You give me anything for free? Okay, cool. Okay. Let me go heal, and let me see if I can go ahead and go to the next route, or if it's gonna make me go to uh, the dream yard because I did go ahead and take the Hitmonchan and so I believe that means I don't get to use uh, the encounter that is there if I get one. Now that I have cut I can go into the place I think that has grass. So first I want to see if I can go grab my encounter in the next uh, route. If not we will go ahead and go to uh, the dream yard. So let's see I think that should be this way is the next actual route. Oh, this guy's gonna stop me. I'm looking for you. Dang it. Let's see. What about this way? It's over here. Nothing? Nothing I can pick up? Okay. Does this person gotta say? A million dollars? For me? Alright. Guess I can't get another encounter this episode. Oh, but there is an item down here. I will get that. Could be anything. Power herb. Hmm. All right, let's go to the dream yard. Oh, I've got to teach a Pokemon cut. Um, let's see, Pokemon. I 
Let's go to the bag, teach somebody cut. I can also teach Hydro Pump. Who can learn cut? Dang it, just Delilah? What is the strength of cut? If it's 60, it can still be boosted. How strong is cut? 50, yes! So, I can just replace Scratch with it. It's a little stronger than Scratch, and it still gets the boost. So, I guess that's fine. Yeah. So, we'll forget about Scratch, and we'll learn Cut. Well, that's fine. And Hydro Pump, let's go ahead and teach that to Seismo Boat. Oh! It still randomizes it. <laughs> oh no. It still randomizes it by the number, so Seismo Boat can't learn it because it's like it's trying to learn Workup. Oh. And these guys are physical. Well, I'll keep that in mind for the future. I don't think I want to teach either of them Hydro Pump. So, that's fine. That's that's really funny though. Our water type can't learn it because of how, how it landed. All right. Well, let's finish up this Dream Yard stuff, and then we can go on to the next route in our next episode. So, yeah, let's cut it down. Delilah, get it! Slice. Oh, here's Bianca. You don't want to battle, do you? Like, Tim, are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? Forgot to read it when it was up. Um, ooh. Like, hey, do you hear a sound coming from the other side of the wall? Come on, let's go see. All right. Oh, it's a Muna. Moon. Oh, wait. Oh, snap. We found you, Moon. Dead burn it. Come on, come on. Make some dream mist. Oh. Uh oh. Like, who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Mashana emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Interesting. That dude just punched that Muna. Spit out the Dream Mist, just punched it in the kidney, jeez. Like, you're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off Dream Mist? Oh, he kicked it. That's mean. Why are trainers... You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. Like, don't hurt Tim. Uh, these guys plan. Just not, not the best. They're kind of stupid. Sends out Magnemite. Am I still leading with uh, gloves? I am. He's gonna get a little over leveled, maybe. But, he's got that sweet fighting type move. Uh, I believe this dude's gonna Thundershock me. Awesome. Ooh, wow. And it was a crit. Don't. Don't do that. Alright. Jeez. Get that guy out of here. Team Plasma. Their music is pretty good, though. Another Conkledur? Okay, guys. I need y'all to stop with the Conkledurs. Um, I've already lost some health. I don't want to risk it. I do not want to risk it. We're going into Seisma Boat. Gloves uh, is, you know, not the tankiest Pokemon. So. Oh, he just used Leer. Maybe I should have stayed in. At least for that one turn. Alright. Let's hit him with the stab soup, uh, bubble beam. Doesn't kill. Goes for the leer, so that's clear. We're clear on this guy. We're clear on this guy. That is great news. 
He's gonna use Bide. Doesn't matter. Get this Conkledur out of my face. Get him out of my face. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, and Gloves want to have him leveled up anyways. They can't believe that they lost. What are you talking about, dude? I'm a beast. Stop! We just won. Like, what are y'all doing? Oh, crap. What are you two doing? Goofing off. We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties... This... Th this isn't... Gets us when he has gathered followers, or gets us when he is trying to control people by tricking them uh, with speeches. Yeah, this is gets us when a plan has failed, and he is about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and see, say, we're sorry so he forgives us. These boys dipped. Oh wow, Musharna is here. Shar! Like, what was that just now? That person called Getsus appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Like, could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon... Oh, it's Fennel. I couldn't help, so I came over. Oh, I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Mushana? Musha. Musha. Mooney. Oh, they left an item for me. Awesome. Did something happen? Like, Fennel? Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came, and, like, it showed us something like a dream. And then, like, Team Plasma... I think I followed that. See, Mashana evolves from Muna, so seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means... Wait a second. Muna? Muna? I don't know. It dropped some Pepsi. Is this dream mist? With this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? Dang, I wanted some dream mist. Like... Well, I'm going to go look for Pokemon we saw just now. Cool, um... So there is... Grass here. I wonder what I could have gotten if I had encountered Pokemon here. Okay. Nose pass. Alright, let's run from this guy. There's probably an item somewhere over here. Yeah. Let's see what else we could have gotten. Oh, that would have been kind of cool. A Rufflet? I'm not against Rufflet. Which, I'm happy we got gloves. I'm just saying, Rufflet is a cool Pokemon to me. Rufflet's very cool. And was there anything else we could have gotten here? Kibia Berry. I don't remember how to get up there. I don't even know if you can right now. Oh, wow. A uh, Bastiodon. That could have also been cool. But, you know, I think, I think I'm still happy with my, um, with my Hitmonchan here. So, I'm glad I took the gift instead of, uh, waiting for an encounter here. Awesome. Well, let's go back and heal at the Pokemon Center. And we'll probably wrap this stuff up. This, this episode. I don't think there's anything else to do in this town. Oh, wait. Let's go see Fennel. We'll wrap it up after we go see Fennel. And then the next episode, we'll start off going over to Route 3. So this is probably going to be a little bit longer episode. Um, just a few minutes longer than my other episodes so far. But hopefully you guys can still enjoy that. So let's go see what Fennel wanted back at her lab. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect save files from various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of appreciation, I will give you the Sea Gear to use. The sea Gear device will let you communicate, such as infrared or Wi-Fi. So, something I can't actually really use for this playthrough. I don't think.
Nope. Yes. Ah, oh, at least wow, there's a at least the bottom screen has something on it now. Alright. I don't really care to hear her tell me more about it. Okay. Did I click the wrong button? I didn't want to hear more. What'd she give me? Pal pad. Oh, that's how I add friends. Don't care. Alright. So, uh, we've done everything to do in Stryton City. Um, in, the next in the next episode, we will head on over to the next route. Uh, should be Route 3. We'll head on over there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, guys, if you liked this video, please leave a like. Uh, we did finish our first gym in this episode, so that's really awesome. Um, we encountered a Dialga. That was scary. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like. Um, tell me what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to leave, um, you know, uh, workout ideas in the comment section down below. And I will catch you all in the next episode. But as for me, I've been Tidemaster Tim, and I'm bailing out.